Rascal already reset and TP'd back, so he wanted to block Keen. And... Whoa. Okay, switch positions <laughs> there as Clint is going to pick up the dragon for himself. Oh my what god, it's a disaster happening? for Afrika. That was super weird. Wow. Uh, okay, well, uh, Keen teleported in and they got nothing. <laughs> it came time to get the third dragon and it happened to be a mountain, which is the worst possible drain. Well, they're gonna they're gonna give it their all here in one last desperate attempt. They're up against a Callista that's on the Baron. I think the Baron steal is off the table. They have to try to go for the actual kills here. As you can see, life is chasing, but Rascal is just gonna die. Into the back line goes the Kaisa and the steal on the Baron at the same time. Can Gen G actually win the fight? You see Ruler with so much room, and he's gonna get a triple kill already, and the kill is gonna go down onto the Jason somehow with the quad kill somehow Gen G have turned this game around what? wait they have a minion wave and they, they have they a minion wave maker. they're gonna try to end the game absolutely no, pink no, to kill no. pink oh, to kill wait oh man Bellis. you're in the game LS you better be a believer oh I don't know I don't know though there's 15 seconds on the on the Callista they're gonna go seconds. for it though yeah, they're absolutely going for it. They're not going to waste oh, any time. They man. have the one minion. They're going to tank it up. And absolutely, Gen G should be winning this game. The turret will go what down. And down will go the Nexus in the span of 30 seconds. Gen G have pulled the game back to their favor. Takes a really heavy trade. Missing a lot of HP. Has the biscuit as well as two control uh, corrupting potions. And I think that Cover and Flawless really want to push the issue here. Ilum, he's going to come over now, hug the turret with Kana, and just make sure that he can't get dove. And in doing so, it is still a victory. Oh, speaking of which, coming on in here, getting low. He's going to get oh. flashed on now. Dodging what? that cocoon, LM is playing this really well. He's gonna smite, and they're gonna turn this one around. I don't think there's anything that Flawless can do. He's gonna be on the run here. He will have to try to cocoon oh. and burst one of them down, but I I don't know what he's got going on here. He's gonna be hit by the Silas, and down he will go. Are they gonna find Haru here? We got tents nearby. Double TP being used on the side of Dragon X. They really want to catch up to this guy. As Trying to follow up onto Haru. He is going to be pulled in by the chains, and now they have Tempt underneath the turret. And with that stone plate, he's going to survive for such a ridiculous amount of time. But meanwhile, yes, they're going to get a couple of kills, but look at your base. You might just lose the oh. game. And they're going to push in, and I think they're going to be able to win this one. Lahens trying to zone them out. We got Lava nearby here. They just need to kill that MF. But it's the death sentence door. is not going to get it. The last auto, and down will go the Nexus. Hanwha Life able to tie it up here. Have a lot of mid-game tools as well in their hands. Yeah, and they, they absolutely do. So we'll have to see what ends up being the third dragon of the game, as well as what... Uh, Lonely has DC'd. Um, Elise has DC'd. Um, Wait. And we're not pausing? Um. Wait. Hello? Um. Sandbox is DC'd? Oh, and if all of Sandbox DC's, none of them can actually pause it. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Well. Okay, Sandbox's internet just died in their entire team house. Um, uh, he really has that slow as far as the gank CC that he has available to him, so not too bad. Uh, Cube struggling here towards the top side as he's made brittle. If that had been an auto attack group, that would have been very close to kind of being able to just really put the screws in as he throws oh. down the ultimate looks for this solo gets kill on the counter up. there's the flash forward the bellows oh. breath comes out but Cube eventually gets searing charged <laughs> to death and Haru now finds his way in will get the trade kill but that solo still fantastic for Kana oh 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 okay. his name is Kevin Tuggles true I yeah I, I forgot about that you know I yeah. just I you know maybe <laughs> maybe maybe he wants to reconsider who knows alright as uh yeah we are having the push coming in with the Elder Drake. Now, a uh, good amount of weight there coming in. Suplex as well as the gigantic Whoa! Wombo Combo. It doesn't get better than that. As 
Well, Syndra is going to survive, but it really does not matter because KT is not going to survive. Looking for that final kill in the fountain. In goes Canyon. They will be able to pick it up. Gives that one over to Beryl. As GG, the Nexus will go down. They used at the right times, right? And Sandbox actually played theirs out relatively well when they had strength, but APK held on enough to get to that point where their comp is strong as hybrid. Running real fast yet again. And Sandbox do need to be really scared of this uh, misfortune that can survive multiple deaths in this team fight as Secret will find Dove. It's down to about half health now as he does Chrono Break, but back into danger as the redemption comes down. Iksu flashes forward, but it's a great Sonya's out from Dove. Takes a lot of killing, but eventually he goes down to the bullet time. He's huge in the back line, a double kill so far. The hybrid, and he's got so much health, so much shielding. Triple kill now, make that a quadra. Yeah. Uh, and this could be another pentakill in the LCK as it's a headbutt pole and a penta oh for the misfortune hybrid. As uh, they're looking for the pentakill. <laughs> they're talking about Gave it the buff, and he's already calling for the pentakill. <laughs> yeah, he's already he was already calling for the pentakill before he got the triple. And then he gets the triple, and he charges in for the penta. That is insane. <laughs> gonna get the bad news bears in a second. Oh, he's out oh, of vision. Man, this really is a good perfect positioning. counter gank. Well, in comes Punch now. We'll see whether they can actually find any. The face breaker lands onto two. Is the flash out there from Root, but now trying to turn this one around. Irove has to run, but he's going to survive. It's a one for one so far as Viper doesn't want to pick up Tarot Aggro yet again. You can see Tarzan back in for another one, but the cocoon point blank range as Root is going to get killed. The flash out and able to survive with the triumph. The flash out there, but not able to get it done. And they're looking to move towards the base. And Derex going for the Hail Mary. Looks like T1 want the team fight instead of to put them into an awkward position. Faker dashing on over. Kanna looking for the flank, finds a knock up onto Doran. But the fight Whoa. hasn't started just yet. Big crit onto Effort as the ultimate flies it's all on onto Faker. Yeah, exactly right. Death is this team right now. They have two smites. They have moved them away from the Baron as well. As T1 will have to come in. There's a Cosmic Radius for the Ornhorn. Gets thrown back. It's the Baron that goes over to Derex. But can they win the fight is the question. T1 have them where they want them. But Doran has a very big shield. Unable to stand up to Teddy's damage as Chobi is the next option. He goes Golden. Death is still at full health. But he can't get towards his Look Kana. Whatsoever, Kana is zoning everyone away. And now Derex are just trying to get back to base where they can. Backs are being channeled, but the vision oh. is going to be that big body slam. Death just auto attacks something for goodness sake. Five members converging on the Caitlyn. The autos are coming down. Faker dives onto Death and explodes him. It's a double kill for the Callista. Make that one a triple. See that Doran and is threatening a freeze. And if Kana would recall TP onto the minion wave, that's actually even worse if he would end up dying. So. His lane state is in a really rough position, and he's done. Yep, there's the flash the face breaker, and I believe if Kyoshik lands one undertow, it's going to be lights out, and now Kana's just trying not to give away Ooh. any assists. Ooh. As the flash comes in, Kyoshik not going to be able to find it, and Kana ran them around the rosy, and will be able to get out just fine. And the revenge of T1 against the Humble Life that were able to steal away uh, the first loss of T1. If we're looking at the stats, I mean, it really is a blemish on the record of this squad. They do, they did not want that there. It's sitting there as their second game of the season. And oh, uh, it's no. just not what you want to see. It's a huge engage. The Varus just dies basically as an afterthought as now Haru trying to run away. Vista, a Void Seeker, is going to find the targets that he wants, but he's not going to be able to fight them. He has absolutely no right to do so. And T1 will continue shoving forward. Shirley is going to pick up a charge on the inhibitor and might oh even God. start charging these Nexus turrets as well. She's down to 85 health, but can Humble She's Life even it. get to where they can't? Shirley, what are you... This is like the most wow. MVP Rift Herald performance I have ever seen. That was like, what, three, four charges? Amazing yeah. stuff. That, yeah, every single structure, in fact. You're right, that's that's four charges. That is except in solo queue. All right, Doran, <laughs> up here in top lane, trying to convince. Oh, oh the flash oh. in, and oh, he messed it up. He's not going to get the kill. At least he's going to survive as Karia. Okay, well. It was all a plan, actually, to button. give it over to Karia. And now we'll be able to claim plates in the mid lane. Yeah, and ended up working out. Oh a what was that? <laughs> Just really uh, wanted to make sure that he was making an entrance there. Um, <laughs> that was supposed to be an E. 
looking for that angle, but not really having too much luck. With the Baron, able to take down this turret and continue to pressure. The amount of poke damage they have with the Zoe and the Varus alone. Not to mention, okay, uh, this is going to die. He just straight up got one shot by the Zoe. Doing it. As, as you can see, KT have broken the tie with the Freak of Freaks and have moved up to solidify fourth place. And now they're just one win away from Dragon X, and you actually saw the games that they have oh, coming up. Gonna die today, make it out alive.